Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about data types in vv.net. For this, I have a blank form and I am going to drag and drop a button. Let me expand this button. Now let's open the property by right click property or from the navigation menu. Now the very first thing, what would I like to display here? Now for this, I will take an example of a iPhone for a phone. The brand name is Apple. Model name is iPhone 16. Battery is 4500 screen size. So these are the property of the iPhone price and availability. Now, if you look at closely, each data is a different data type. For example, Apple is a string. iPhone 16 is a string. 4500 is a integer 6.7 is a double 799.99 is a decimal and this is a boolean value so these are different data types we are going to learn in this video so let's get started i have the button now let's open the property panel and let's change the display text to i would say iphone 16 So this is not exactly the accurate numbers, but just for learning purpose, I'm doing it iPhone 16. So I've just shown iPhone 16. So anybody clicks on this, they should be able to see the property of that iPhone of that phone model. Okay. So here let's double click on this. And here, if you see the by default name has come as button. Let me just simply delete this, go back. And what we forgot, actually, we forgot to change the design name. So let's give some design name. I would say iPhone 16 properties. And because it is a button, I would simply say BTN button. And I'll start with I cap capital. That's a piece small. So iPhone 16 properties. This is the name I have given. You can choose your own name. And let's double click. Now you can see the name has properly appeared here when you double click to open the code window. Let's provide some space just to ensure it looks more clear. Done. Let me open up the notepad where I have written all the things. So what is the first thing is the brand. So what kind of a data type it is? It is a string data type. So let's create some variables. So I'll say dim that means dimension and let's provide a name of the variable. So here it, I am saying brand. So brand is a string type. So I'll start with str, which stands for string. You can give your own ways, but I would follow this practice in brand as string. So this is the first variable I have created. Next, let's create the second string variable, which is your model, right? I'll say string model as string. Clear? Now let's assign some value to this. For example, string brand, I'm going to assign a value. So e is equals to when it is string, you would write in double quote. So I would say Apple and then string model e is equals to and I'm going to say iPhone 16. So both string values are there. Now, if you have to display, how would you display this? If you have to really display this, how would you display? Simply you will say message box dot show. And in the bracket, you would write the very first variable, which is string brand, right? And then you will use an ampersand symbol and then create some space by writing a double quote. And then again, use ampersand symbol. And then let's write the second one, string model. So both the things we have got it. Now let's go back to the form and let's run this. So when you run this, this is how it will open and I'm going to click on iPhone 16 and you can see it said Apple iPhone 16. So both the values are displayed. That means our data type is correct and the code is written correctly. Let's think about the other options. So this two is covered, both are string type. Now we are going to learn about the next data type, which would be an integer type. So I'm taking an imaginary values here. This may not be appropriate for iPhone 16. This is just the imaginary numbers I'm taking. Now let's 
write or create the variable so what should be the variable name so dim it's supposed to be integer kind so i would say integer battery as integer so this is the data type tab let's come down and let's write a value to it so i would say integer battery tab is equals to and let's provide some value so if it is an integer you don't use a double quote clear now let's go up what is the next thing we would like to show the next thing that we would like to show is the screen size which is 6.7 which is more like a decimal but i would introduce you to one more thing which is called double double decimal these are the floating points or the anything which has a decimal value right 0 0.7 0 0.6891 so anything which has a decimal value how do you write it so here i would like to show screen size so there is a variable or a data type called double so double screen size as double there is also something called for price we can use the decimal so what is the difference between this so let me first write decimal and i am saying price as decimal so what is the difference between this double and decimal let's understand so double means double has a precision after dot it can handle up to 15 to 16 points 15 to 16 digits it can handle post your point and the price can handle the price can handle around 28 to 29 digits so it has a the the uh, decimal has a higher precision which can handle 28 to 29 digits and double can handle around 15 to 16 digits so when it comes to price you need more precision so this is higher precision okay higher precision so decimal has a higher precision so that's why when it comes to price we generally go with the decimal data type and if it is a screen size all uh, right we go with a double so double has less precision and decimal has higher precision otherwise both serve the similar purpose all right so we have got this and there is another one called availability so this is a boolean data so let's create a boolean data boolean means true and false so i would say boolean and then i would say availability as boolean okay so what are the different data types we have learned so far string we have learned integer we have learned double we have learned decibel we have learned boolean we have learned now it is time to provide some value to them let's assign the value to the screen size for example so i would i will take the name of the variable how you have named it dub and then you have written screen size tab is equals to 6.7 let's say i'm just taking some imaginary numbers that may not be exactly right then let's write december price uh i mean decimal price so decimal is uh i would give some price like 799.99 let's say and then uh next variable is availability i'll take this tab equals to and i'm going to write two so you can see the difference only in the string we are using double quote rest of the data type we didn't use a double quote including the boolean clear now it is time to show all of this in that message box so what generally you would do you will copy this ampersand and space put give a space paste it and then start writing all the variables that you have created so string model is done now let's write integer battery int battery okay then again paste it next write dub screen size that means double right screen size tab and paste it what is the next thing we will write uh, the price that means decimal price the ec price tab space and paste next is bool availability right so i'll say space and then write bool availability tab so we have written almost everything now the problem here is you can see the code has become a little lengthier i have to go to the right by you know uh, going by using this scroller now how to fix that i'll show you i'm going to run this now iphone 16 now you can see all the values are appearing properly without any problem but the problem is not exactly in the code the code readability right how the code is now coming so what i can do after the ampersand you can use a underscore 
अंडर यू यूज एंड हिट ऑन एंटर लुक एट इट आफ्टर द एम पर्सन लेट्स आई वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग दिस डाउन आई यूज अंडर स्कोर बिफोर द वेरिएबल एंड हिट ऑन एंटर getting it and that ampersand symbol uh, that underscore symbol after some time it will automatically disappear you can see it has disappeared okay give it some time it will disappear now even you run it now okay if you run it now again the values are coming now what is the next thing you probably would like to get is instead of that output message coming in single line you would like to write that in one below the other so what is that you have to write so instead of this space right so what i will do i'll use a code the earlier the old code was vv new line okay this was the old code old way of writing now if you highlight it says deprecated that means this code is no more in use you can still go and use it if you run it it will still work for example if i run this you can see apple has written on the top line and then rest of the things written in the second line so this will still work but this is deprecated so what is the new code then so the new code is environment dot new line this is the new code now if you run this it will again serve the similar purpose so if you run this you can see apple has come on the top rest of the lines has come at the bottom okay so it is working perfectly fine now all you have to do let's copy this from here to here maybe or maybe just this and i'm going to replace this double quote with a space with this one okay all looks good now let's run it i'm going to click on the button and you can see the all the output how it has appeared apple iphone 16 right all the things has appeared like this one below the other so these are the some of the data types that you have learned what are the data types string you have learned integer you have learned double you have learned decimal you have learned boolean you have learned only the string goes with a double quote rest of the things doesn't require a quote right and how do you write a message box one below the other you have learned and how you can use a underscore to bring your code down so this entire thing will be considered as one line of code because we have used a underscore and hit on enter and brought them down so that the readability of the code becomes much easier all right i hope this is helpful please do continue to watch the next video